what is going on? Brian Carroll here, PowerRackStrength.com HQ, coming to you from beautiful Jacksonville, Florida. If you like what I'm doing, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel. For all things Brian Carroll, go to PowerRackStrength.com. We are revamping the entire website, rebuilding it. Should be launched very soon. It's going to be better to navigate. It's going to be better overall. If you need a consult, if you struggle with back pain, you've read Gift of Injury, you've read Back Mechanic, I highly advise you read both of those. Gift of Injury and Back Mechanic are newly out on Kindle now on Amazon. If you're still struggling, reach out to me at brian at powerackstrength.com. I can help navigate you through video consultations or in-person assessments. Then we can kind of go from there. Today what I'm talking about is a talk that I did back in October titled... Um, deadlifting and back pain, uh, an assessment and coaching and uh, an overall perspective. And what I did during this talk, as I mentioned, the biggest reasons why I see people for back pain and concerning the deadlift, because Ken Kanakin wanted me to talk about deadlifting and back pain. So I figured, okay, well, why not talk about the three biggest reasons why I see people for back pain? Three biggest reasons why I see people for back pain pertaining to the deadlift. Number one is their programming, okay? Number two is their lack of proper core stiffening exercises. And number three, third biggest reason is their form. They're not locking in their lifter's wedge, they're not stiffening their core, they're not pulling down their pecs and lats, and they're not rigid under load, they rush it. Part one today, what I'm going to talk about is the programming aspect of it. It's popular right now. You see the fly-by-night coaches, the young kids out there, no offense, I was young one time too, but they use the type of programming that you see on a high school wall, okay? Squat three times a week, bench three or four times a week, deadlift three times a week. It is not sustainable, and even worse, it can end up being your undoing, training too often, too heavy, too much intensity. Now, I'm not saying you can't get strong from these types of programs. I've beat this up ad nauseum. I get it. But for the purpose of this day's talk, it's one of the biggest reasons why I see people for back pain. Whenever I see a younger lifter that's been influenced by one of these influencers online, I can almost guess what type of program they're doing. They're not doing 1020 Life. They're not doing West Side. They're not doing 531 or Fifth Set or any of those programs. Hello. I hope you're enjoying this video. I want to talk to you really quick about our CBD line. PowerX Strength CBD is 100% THC free, made with MCT oil and CBD isolate extracted from hemp. We have sublingual drops that taste good, made with MCT oil, not cheap hemp oil that upsets your stomach. These bombs, these drops, and these products are 100% THC free. You will not fail a drug test, and we have testing on the website. Are bombs you want to use two to three times a day in a localized area to reduce pain and inflammation. This stuff works wonders for tight muscles and joints. Then lastly, we have a product called Cryofreeze, which is similar to a Biofreeze. It has a thousand milligrams of CBD isolate mixed with a nice cooling formula that will help you reduce pain and inflammation. So thank you so much for the support. The link's below. Use the special discount code and I'll see you soon. Back to the video. They're doing a Bulgarian type program where they are squatting, benching, and deadlifting so many times during the week. You gotta think, just the people that are benching three times a week, the amount of extension and compression they're putting on their back, not to mention deadlifting multiple times a week, squatting multiple times a week, it eventually starts to damage their body, and in particular, their back. So. A fix for this, a quick fix for many people, is to back off the amount of frequency. So we know with programming, intensity, volume, frequency, those are three things you have to look at, of course. As far as the programming goes, there's more. But those are the things I'm going to focus on for today. You're training too often. A lot of the times these people use ridiculous amounts of volume. And of course they're training the lift three times a week sometimes. Now, for the person that wants to get a, a, a kind of a push start and uh, they're new to lifting or whatever, this is the way to get strong. This is the way I started off lifting, you know, almost 30 years ago in high school. 
I bench three or four times a week. It is stupid to do that. It's stupid. Use the least effective dose. My friend Buddy Morris, the strength coach for the Arizona Cardinals, has a great quote. Do as much as necessary, not as much as possible. And I think that's a great example for benching three or four times a week, deadlifting three times a week, squatting three or four times a week. It is not sustainable and eventually will start costing you. So three-part series talking about the programming aspect right now, uh, the, the frequency and everything. Uh, it, it's not good. And not to mention the assistance work they have them doing beats them up. It's more variations of the squat, the bench, and the deadlift. Then, of course, most times they're not doing the proper core work. And even worse, they're doing core work like leg raises and rope crunches and reverse hypers and Russian twists and all the exercises that I see generally for people that hurt their back and they stay sensitized. When they stop doing some of these exercises and back off from this ridiculous program, they start to feel better. Each person is going to be unique with this. Some people can do it for three or four months to six months to a year. Other people, they do one training cycle and their body's wasted. This also depends on your biological age and your lifting age. There's a lot of factors there that you have to keep in mind. Number one reason is training program. Stay tuned for parts two, which is talking about the wrong type of core exercises for the strength athlete. And then number three, of course, is form. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day.